title of the show is uh, If You See It, Say Hello. And um, this, it's actually uh, named after a Bob Dylan song, slightly modified. The Bob Dylan song is If You See Her, Say Hello. But um, I have a tendency to name shows after folk songs. Um, I'm a really big Bob Dylan fan, and uh, it's from an album, Blood on the Tracks. It's a great album, and um, I wouldn't say it was a direct inspiration or influence in the work that is shown here, but um, I thought the title was um, appropriate because I, the work really has a sort of, um, to me, it really tries to emphasize the, uh, the sheer power of uh, the world around us and, and nature as being the very core of our being. And humanity has a fairly fragile and um, uh, fleeting existence within that. So if you see it, it is referring to uh, the end or um, the coming of nature in taking over us as a you know parasite or something if you really want to look at it that cynically but and it, it's sort of an embracement of that it's a casual if you see it say hello it's like in the song if you see her say hello uh, you know it's a very casual way of saying like it's you know, if she's there, whatever. It, 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 if it's coming, it's coming. And if you see it, say hi, embrace it, and just uh, enjoy the sheer power of what could possibly come. My name is Scott Lewis, and we are in Victoria, BC right now at the 5050 Arts Collective Gallery. Um, this is uh, my first solo show in the West, in the West Coast, ever. Um, and I am from Vancouver, I'm living in Vancouver right now. However, I spent most of my uh, formative years as an artist in Montreal. And I moved back to the West about two years ago. I grew up in the Okanagan, a uh, small town in the Okanagan, and um, came back two years ago and really started to focus on my painting a little bit more. In Montreal, I, um, I met a couple other artists, Matt Shane and Jim Holyoke, who are both from Victoria, funny enough. and. Uh, this large piece behind you
was um, a, it was a collaboration between the three of us where we all worked on it together simultaneously, paper out on the floor and just drawing for hours and hours and hours together. A very bonding experience and something that really inspired me to um, continue painting and really uh, made me realize that uh, the visual arts was where I should be and what I should be uh, pursuing in life. Um, before that I was very involved in music, still am, but um, music was more of a focus for me creatively and um, as far as inspiration goes, which it still is, music is my main inspiration, but um, this show sums up the past uh, two years, I suppose, of uh, personal creativity and uh, inspiration.